Hey, what's up guys? It's George, and, and I know I haven't uploaded a video on this channel in, in about a month, maybe even a little bit longer, and so I got a lot of uh, a lot of topics to catch up on. I have a lot of you guys that have, that have emailed me asking me specifically to cover very specific topics, um, and I, you know, and, and uh, you know, to many of you, I responded saying that I would, and I absolutely will do separate videos covering those topics, um, uh, and so many different topics, so many people want me to cover that I um, uh, almost didn't know which one to cover first, so I'm going to cover something that... Uh, nobody even requested at all and it kind of has to do with uh, you know why I haven't even done a video in, a, in, a, in about a month and so this topic for this video is about making your mental health a priority and this is something that has helped me tremendously along the journey and something that I, I think is just so key um, especially in this day and age regardless of whether you're quitting weed or uh, um, or, or whatever you know whatever you're doing in life is to is to make your mental health a priority um, because so often and so many people that I coach with and I work with and, and even when I reflect back in my life I see that a lot of the things that 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 bring other stress and brought me so much stress throughout my life and the needing to always escape was that um, was that I put my mental health down on the bottom I put my uh, my career and making money as more of a priority than my than my mental health um, I put uh, um, other people's needs above my mental health I put, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, so many other various different obligations and things uh, uh, above my own mental health and peace of mind. And because of this, no matter what I did, I always felt like I, I needed an escape because I just never could develop consistent contentment and peace of mind. And this is something that uh, I had to learn the hard way. Many times our best lessons in life, we, we learn the hard way. And, uh, and by, and, and by, and I want to share some advice and some, some keys on this and, um, because this is so key and that, the, um, you know, in, 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 in the key to making your, your mental health a, a priority is, uh, sometimes you got to do things that really just don't make sense to everybody else and to the rest of the world. You gotta, you gotta live your life in a manner that, uh, um, uh, that is in congruence with, with, uh, with, with your heart and what makes the most sense for you to, to, to live a, a peaceful life. Um, and that may mean, I mean, for, for me, for example, I had to learn to say no to business. Uh, for many, you know, a lot of my life, I was a workaholic and just, you know, could easily work seven days of the week, all hours a week, just nonstop, grind, grind, grind. Um, but, uh, eventually that catches up with you. And, uh, and I attribute learning this lesson a lot to my daughter, you know, even as I had a daughter, you know, and became a single parent and everything like that. I still wanted to work even when I had her, uh, you know, with just, you know, do business while her and it was very stressful trying to do business while, while single-handedly raising a kid and so over time as she got older I realized the value of being present in her life and so I, I started exercising saying no to opportunities to make more money and uh, and that became contagious it felt really good just being able to be present with her in her life and so still to this day, I mean, it's just about 50% of the month I don't work at all because when I'm with my daughter, I've never hired a babysitter, not knocking anybody that, that, that does have to do that. I understand everyone's situation is different, just sharing my experience, but um, when I'm with her, uh, I don't work. I'm not doing coaching calls except for very rare occasions, a couple times, you know, uh, earlier this year when she was doing the virtual school and that was an exception because, you know, uh, um, you know, obviously she was with me all day, every day. But uh, now that uh, she's been back in school, you know, I'm, I don't do coaching calls when I'm with her. I don't, uh, I don't work when I'm with her. It's just one-on-one -on -one time. I take my parenting very seriously. Um, but I also say even on days, you know, I don't have my daughter full-time, but even when she's not with me, I still have learned to, to not book myself and work myself into exhaustion. I don't do coaching calls way up into the wee hours of the night. I'm not out there grinding and hustling late into the night. I've learned now to, uh, to, to, to shut down. Uh, uh, a lot earlier and to get to bed at a reasonable hour. I, I make my sleep now a priority. Uh, um, and, uh, in, 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 in a lot of different ways, I've learned to make my mental health a priority. Um, for example, this is why sometimes I, I won't do YouTube, YouTube videos for a while, just because I just feel like I, I'm very much of an introvert, surprisingly, and I like my privacy and, and social media can be very intrusive. I, I'm very grateful for YouTube and I love working with people and coaching people, but sometimes I just need my space and I just feel like, you know what, I just need a just need a, a break for a period of time just to, um, you know, just to, just to take a step back at all, not get caught up in my ego, uh, not get, uh, uh, addiction to the, you know, the, 
uh, miniature version of fame that comes with social media or, or, or whatever. And just to, just to have, just to have a break from it all, just to, just to get away from it all. Cause sometimes when I'm doing videos all the time, it's like, I'm constantly thinking about what the next topic of video is. And when I can just get away from it, all of a sudden it's like, I get more clarity and that becomes, you know, addicting, you know, just having that solitude can very be, can be very addicting in itself. And so, um, uh, uh, this is actually why I even got off social media pretty much completely about six months ago. I haven't been on Facebook, Instagram, any of those things. I just felt like it was affecting me mentally. And, uh, and so I just got it all, got off all of it. And I haven't been on any of it in just about six months now. Um, this is why I don't vote in, uh, in the elections or anything like that. I know some of you guys may be triggered about that. People get upset about this. Oh, you don't vote, blah, 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 blah. This is just things that I have to do to make my mental health a priority. And even if, again, when you make your mental health a priority, it doesn't always make sense to everybody else. Maybe it doesn't make sense to you that I don't vote, that I don't vote. this is what I have to do for me. Um, maybe it doesn't make sense to you not being on social media and things like that. And I'm not saying that I never will be on social media uh, um, or, or vote or whatever, but um, uh, depending on where I'm at in my life, sometimes I have to uh, make decisions for myself that... Uh, that I know will be more beneficial for me having peace and contentment. And, uh, you know, for example, the election, I didn't want to get emotionally attached to it, involved in it, and all the craziness and everything. So I just, you know, I just, I don't participate in it. I don't want to, uh, I value my mental health more than participating in politics. And so, um, um, and so I wanted to share this message because this is, like I said, this has been something that has helped me more than anything is, is making my mental health a priority. And by doing things, by saying no to certain invitations, doing things, you know, and, uh, um, uh, over obligating myself, saying no to opportunities to make money, saying no to many different things, um, so that I can have a day off to just enjoy and go for a bike ride and, and out in nature instead of having appointments booked throughout the day or, um, uh, saying no so that I can, uh, instead of staying up later and making more money, I can just stay home and, and, and read and relax and get to bed at a reasonable hour and um, saying no to uh, 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 an overwhelming amount of coaching applications. I get, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm coaching more people than I, than, I, than I ever have and I'm grateful and I love working with people, but I also don't want to uh, book more than is, is, is healthy for my, for my mental health. I mean, I, I don't want to be book coaching uh, 24 seven, you know, every single day of the week. I like coaching a couple of people a day on the weekdays and maybe, you know, one or two on the, on the weekend. And, and then, and then that's it. You know, I, uh, I'm cool with that. And that's why sometimes I'm even slow to respond to coaching applications. I won't get back to people for a week or two because I'm overbooked and I'm not looking to take on more than is handled and to put myself into a stressful situation. Uh, and you know, and it's funny because people say, Oh, you know, you have so much more potential. You should be doing this and doing that. And they're saying, you know, they're projecting on them, onto me what they want, but, uh, um, but that's okay. You know, that's, that's all good. And I appreciate that, but I've learned that, uh, um, you know, like I keep saying over and over to do and live my life in a manner that puts my mental health at the top, because by, by doing that, I can be a better father by doing that. I can be a better friend. I can be, uh, I can be, you know, a better in business. I can be better at coaching. I can be better, um, a uh, better human being for my community where if I'm overstressed and overworked, then, you know, what good is it going to be? I get in the a coaching calls with you guys and I'm all stressed out and, uh, you know, my mental health is, is on the bottom. And so a lot of times when I get on with a lot of you guys, you know, a lot of people in coaching, you know, even quit weed think they want to know how to become more productive and how to fit squeeze more into their day and, you know, and how to be more stressed out and do more and make more. We live in a culture where everything is about more, 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 more. And, uh, and I encourage people to, and I, and I give them exercise and activities that try to, that are uncomfortable because it gets them to slow down, it gets them to stop and smell the roses instead of being more productive. Uh, to find the, the joy in, in living with less instead of more less so that instead of uh, you know being the most productive human in existence that you actually have peace of mind and contentment and and I've um, and I can tell you what uh, you know peace and contentment is is worth more and is more valuable than, than having fun and chasing pleasure all the time and everybody always wants to have fun and YOLO and chase pleasure all the time I would rather have peace of mind and contentment that's more consistent you know just chasing fun and a good old time and uh, and pleasure seeking those are just you know roller coaster highs and the higher you go the lower you go peace and contentment is nice and steady 
And that's where I've come to find the sweet spot at. Living with peace and contentment, living a simpler life, taking pride in the small things in my life, uh, doing the best that I can with the little things and the small things, and, and learning not to overwhelm myself, learning to, uh, learning to stay humble and in a place of gratitude. Uh, um, and, uh, um, and that's why you'll see me ghost from time to time, you know, but, uh, when I'm doing that, it's just because I want to come back refreshed, stronger, more grounded and energetic than ever. So I hope this helps guys. Uh, I'm not sure if this will be one of my more popular messages or not, but this is a heartfelt message, something from the heart, something that's helped me a lot. And I hope you guys really, um, think about this, uh, because, um, like I said, this is key. If you want to really learn how to live a, a peaceful life. Uh, sober life, not needing to escape all the time, and you got to start to think of and find ways to make your mental health a priority, even if it doesn't make sense to everybody else, even if that means making less money, even if that means, uh, you know, not being as productive, even if it means, uh, you know, not being as famous or, or whatever, or, um, you know, or, or, or whatever, you know, living up to the expectations of society. So I hope this uh, I hope this helps. I hope this makes sense. And until next time, let's make it a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. See ya.